So finally, I think Samuel are all Jewe. This police motorcar is the escort for Samuel. This is the escort. Finally. Samuel and convoy is all This convoy is seen now as Samuel and convoy. So finally, it's all Jewe. A Samoa and convoy this. Samoa and convoy this. Man and the two money.
Do it tough right now. You're not doing. You're not doing. And Samura they come close to doing now. Samura they come close to doing now.
All this convoy owner is seen now. Now you count somewhere inside.
So me don't come. I don't come from somewhere in crowd now. So I live very, very closer to somewhere now. Now see this escort. This now escort this. This is not an escort for Samura. So I escort this. I understand say it is within that trailer, that long trailer there, that is Samura there. Now I don't come with Samura camera in crowd. So I don't come to Samura now. Laughing a good, good location. So this is not Samura camera in crowd. I don't come with Samura camera in crowd now. This is not Samura in crowd. This is not Samura camera in crowd now. I don't come it now. So this this truck on the sea, that is Samura day. The only one that will be confessed for flag bearer, the only one that is truck with Samura. So that is Samura. That is Chahito. That they push is so much, you know. But I defend another location for see who's going to get Samura Corner. Now they see CDI at Tunis, 
On a reçu Mohamed Bangoua. Mohamed Bangoua, on a un job pour les cap, on a un à Siri à Tunis. Siri à Tunis, Mohamed Bangoua, à Samoua de Wef Obanda. On a reçu Samoua. Are they waka ka up due? Ka wait there? Because the Sawe Samoa reach right now, the crowd, the push push is so much. That they push push so much right now, the crowd. All right, thank you very much, Mohamed, and we still are being camped in a live coverage as we move along um, the east part of the country's capital city. And um, um, China Majuba say, no violence, no fighting. Is, is, that, is that a slogan? Yes, no violence, no fighting. Peaceful procession, peaceful celebrations. No violence, no fighting. But, but, but we see the kind way how, how the support in our supporters are very happy for welcoming her. We are so happy to see them in this mood as well and And we're happy with the reception well and giving. Let me could encourage them as you are saying they say we the vote when they prepare for the elections on the 24th of June 2023 this year. And we don't tell them say no violence, no fighting. All we're looking forward to are the elections because they want to go vote and make sure they bring APC back into governance. Right. And you know, most people they think about violence, like you mentioned. And um, I know since the one from the convention, after the convention done, it's about no violence. And, and that don't be, um, you, you of course, you key me message to, to supporters about no violence. And they go continue that way. They, with a preach a message of peace, we go unite Sierra Leone. Elections, not a war. Na competition, but not a war. We forgot it peacefully as citizens. We for promote the ideals we will make the country move go before. Campaign to our people learn and get them forgot to the balance box. We will look forward to a free, fair, transparent, and credible elections. In the process, we also tell our people and say no amount of violence, no war whatever they will do. So we encourage them to keep the peace and respect the rule of law. So far, I'm satisfied with the supporters them. 
um, without any violence message, without any hate message, but then just believe in praising Dr. Samuel Kama. Definitely, yes. I mean, excitement will take place here and there. But generally, you said don't notice, the all they're in a jubilant mood, they hail Dr. Samura. Together with colleagues, they win the whole contest. Most of them, they are away in defeat. But as Ingmi said at the convention, not to him win, not to the loss, that the APC win, so everybody win. Now make them there with an hour, so for make sure they're being back to free time. We don't come late, but as you see, we've been for a long time, but the people left. There's so much that they're able to allow we, for them to be able to move as much as we want. Now, on that note, we appreciate the Sierra Leone police and other members of the security forces. They don't play a great role so far, they don't maintain security, and we believe they will keep until we reach the party office. Sierra Leone are for we all. The security forces, they serve everybody, government and non government. Every citizen in the South. But we want to commend them. They don't do a fantastic job so far. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you too. All right. But again, as I just want to say, we learn, say, we newly elected Secretary General. Royal Lance and Abu Mbaya suffer serious beatings in the hands of some guards them. But we're not able to confirm it because being originally, but the allegation is ours and I don't see a video. We will we'll follow up and check and we will make sure say we we'll use the right channel for arrest that problem. Lance and I are a very peaceful citizen. Thank you very much. Thank you too. All right, and um, you know we, we, we still want to talk some more and we we'll get <laughs> and we got the, the, the country's capital city mayor. We 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 Within our city. <laughs> yes, within our city at half past ten at night, and as you can see, it's fully awake. And I just am um, amazed, and I think the way to the see now uh, pent up energy, a deep desire for an improvement in the lives of the people, and it's really exciting. And it shows say multi-party democracy. Now Santiwe Salon need to continue for hold dear. Santiwe Salon people them once forget. They once forget the opportunity to make a choice. The constitution give every winning party five years. Every government at the end of that five years, the people, the people get the opportunity to tell the government whether or not they feel safe and don't meet the expectations and whether they go vote them again. Today is very clear. Say the people of this city and indeed the people of this country have decided and rightly so that the administration of the current government not meet their expectations. What you see is support for change. What you see is a determination for change. And you see some face them wait on day with this convoy, with this trailer from Watalo. They're still running. They're still energized. They're still wanting to give a message. The message, they want peace. The message, they want jobs. The message, they don't want push. The message, they want opportunities and they want peace. The message, they want the APC. All right, uh, you know, I, I notice uh, supporters that cheer you up. Even Akisoya, you know, it, it sounds very delightful to you. Well, it's gratifying to me because in spite of the numerous challenges we had on face over the last five years in office, including the fact that my term of office did be prematurely brought to an end according to the Act, the Local Government Act of 2022. According to the Local Government Act of 2022, we term the end on the 25th of April, but government don't say we all for left next week Wednesday, the 1st of March. So when you see people, they call your name and say mayor, you don't walk, it's gratifying. They appreciate the work that's been done and I are determined to continue to serve them. Thank you very much, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Madam Mayor. Um, yes, so you know, the mayor of the city, um, Yvonne Akisoya, so we want to talk to more more members of the All People's Congress Party. Um, we, we get Ma Mahmoud. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, well, welcome to YV Television.
right, we 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 still alive on um, Africa Young Voices Media and um, Television, and uh, we'll continue for being a live broadcast as we proceed um, towards as we proceed towards um, um, up gone. Uh, we currently live very close to Shell, uh, so we don't pass Shell, and we live very close to. Um, uh, Ferry Junction now, and from Ferry Junction we proceed to um, Up Gone. But I guess with me, Mahmoud, with me. Welcome to YV Television. Yes, good evening. Thank you very much, Mina Honorable Mahmoud Sarawali, former minister of the previous APC government, the former Flavia aspirants, but now a member of the Dr. Samura campaign team. I, I, I see you move up and down for the short set things are. Are, are ready, supporters are in place, no violence. Why why you choose that way? Well, I want to confess to and say from where I joined politics, this ever wouldn't come out in my own political history in this country. Uh, look at the time now, it is unusual for Sicilia Leonians come out with these thousands, tens of thousands of people at about 8, 9 p.m. Nanette, only for see the great icon of the country, Dr. Samura Kamara. After the election as flabber of the APC and leader of the party. So what's your message to supporters of the APC and also Sierra Leoneans? Well, my message is very simple clear and straightforward. The way where the country will go so far are very satisfied and are very sure say June 24 election not just a matter of time. APC will come back to power. And so I they appeal to them how they don't comport themselves from most start this thing from McKinney say we to Kanaya it's incredible how they don't comport themselves in terms of mobilization, very impressive. Let them maintain the peace. As you read from the background, we want peace. Pa Papa Samura, we want peace. We want peace in this country. We want the election going in a very peaceful atmosphere as a leading opposition party. We don't prepare for take our governance in this country. We now want to see no good shaking. We want to ensure say do not fight again. We go to the ballot box. We remove President Bio. Quietly, democratically, we take over governance in this country and we therefore confront the great expectations where the people engage right now from government, the suffering whether they go through. <laughs> As you see the crowd, you gonna say now a crowd of hope, now a cry of hope, now a clarion call for let government respond to the difficult economic situation where they confront this country right right now. So I have to tell and say in the midst of all this anxiety, let them stay calm and let, let them be peaceful, you understand? And let them be responsible until we pull President Bio through the ballot box in G20 for this year. Thank you very much. Thank you, God bless you. All right, um, so one for let me talk about um, so one for showing now exactly the crowd as we okay. move by. Uh,
need to go take back to you. They say you better there. Yeah, welcome to the back to you, please. Yeah, wait.
for um, Dr. Sabuaka. But I get to meet the mayor. Um, I want to pass a quick information, Madam Mayor. Yes, so um, unfortunately this evening, we can't find out, say, um, Lance Ladumbuya, the Secretary General of our party, has been decided for use the Grafton Road and went past, past a newly set up checkpoint at the Presidential Lodge and was beaten, badly beaten, and he's now at home um, but suffering from pain. And I've also just had a call that my car, my driver, um, decided to use that route as well, not knowing about the checkpoint. Asef, he was beaten. Um, I understand because my car has a picture of Samara Kamara on it. But not only was he beaten, what I'm deeply concerned about is that my laptop was taken from my car and is now in the possession of the presidential guard. I don't see any reason why my Mayor Freetown or indeed any other individual would have their laptop removed from their vehicle and kept in the possession of the presidential guard. I'm hoping that this is some kind of misunderstanding and my laptop will be released. But it's deeply disturbing that we can be here going through what is a lawful, legal activity with police support and at the same time have APC identified people targeted and in this case having the mayor's laptop seized by the presidential guard. I'm deeply disturbed by this and we will be taking you know the necessary steps to retrieve my laptop. I hope that you know I won't need to do anything more and the presidential guard themselves will just give me back my laptop. They have absolutely no right to seize my laptop. Even if my driver had committed some kind of traffic offense, which I'm, I'm made to understand he hasn't, he's been released. What has my laptop got to do with him going through a checkpoint? Why is the mayor's laptop now in the possession of the presidential guard? I am not, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. We we're just talking about multi-party democracy. These are the sort of actions which really throw into question freedom of speech, freedom of association, freedom of movement that we're experiencing in this country at the moment. All right, thank you very much, Mayor. Thank you. All right, that now the mayor will just talk to um, shortly um, with regards of um, you know alleging that um, a, a laptop being taken away by some security personnel. But I'm currently at KC Road and we're bringing come to in a live update. What's in the happen um, with Dr. Samoa Kamara um, in welcoming to the country's capital city for McKinney after the APC convention and um, he be elected as the flag bearer and presidential candidate for the All People's Congress Party. We continue for being a live update. We're very close to Eastern Police. And um, we were taking that to Eastern Police, um, the court in tea, and also to the APC Party Office, where we go shut down broadcast from the um, uh, uh, live broadcast of Dr. Samoa Kamara in welcoming um, to the country's capital city.